a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Deadpool Deadpool is a fictional character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Created by writer Fabian Nitzietza and artist-slash-writer Rob Liefeld, the character first appeared in The New Mutants 8. Initially Deadpool was depicted as a supervillain, when he made his first appearance in The New Mutants and later in issues of X-Force, but later evolved into his more recognizable anti-heroic persona. Deadpool, whose real name is Wade Wilson, is a disfigured and deeply disturbed mercenary and assassin with the superhuman ability of an accelerated healing factor and physical prowess. The character is known as the Merc with a Mouth because of his tendency to joke constantly, including his proclivity for breaking the fourth wall, a literary device used by the writers for humorous effect and running gags. The character's popularity has seen him feature in numerous other media. In the 2004 series Cable and Deadpool, he refers to his own scarred appearance as Ryan Reynolds crossed with a sharp A. Actor Ryan Reynolds himself would eventually portray the character in the X-Men film series, appearing in X-Men Origins, Wolverine, Deadpool, and the upcoming Deadpool 2. 1990s Created by artist-slash-writer Rob Liefeld and writer Fabian Nitzietzer, Deadpool made his first appearance in the pages of the New Mutants 8 cover dated February 1991. According to Nitzietzer, Liefeld came up with the character's visual design and name, and Nitzietzer himself came up with the character's speech mannerisms. Liefeld, a fan of the Teen Titans comics, showed his new character to then-writer Fabian Nitzietzer. Upon seeing the costume and noting his characteristics, Nitzietzer contacted Liefeld, saying, this is Deathstroke from Teen Titans. Nitzietzer gave Deadpool the real name of Wade Wilson as an inside joke to being related to Slade Wilson, Deathstroke. Other inspirations were Spider-Man and Wolverine. Leafield states, Wolverine and Spider-Man were the two properties I was competing with at all times. I didn't have those, I didn't have access to those. I had to make my own Spider-Man and Wolverine. That's what Cable and Deadpool were meant to be, my own Spider-Man and my own Wolverine. Both Deadpool and Cable were also meant to be tied into Wolverine's history already from the start, as Lethal describes, Wolverine was my guy, if I could tie anything into Wolverine, I was winning. Liefeld's favorite comic title before X-Men was Avengers, which featured weapons like Captain America's shield, Thor's hammer and Hawkeye's bow and arrow. He decided to weaponize his new characters as well. In his first appearance, Deadpool is hired by Tolliver to attack Cable and the New Mutants. After subsequently appearing in X-Force as a recurring character, Deadpool began making guest appearances in a number of different Marvel Comics titles such as The Avengers, Daredevil, and Heroes for Hire. In 1993, the character received his own miniseries, titled The Circle Chase written by Fabian Nitzietzer and penciled by Joe Madureira. It was a relative success and Deadpool starred in a second, self-titled miniseries written in 1994 by Mark Wade, penciled by Ian Churchill, and inked by Jason Temujin Minor and Bud LaRosa. Wade later commented, Frankly, if I'd known Deadpool was such a creep when I agreed to write the miniseries, I wouldn't have done it. Someone who hasn't paid for their crimes presents a problem for me. In 1997, Deadpool was given his own ongoing title, initially written by Joe Kelly, with then-newcomer Red McGuinness as an artist. Deadpool became an action-comedy parody of the cosmic drama, anti-hero heavy comics of the time. The series firmly established his supporting cast, including his prisoner-slash-den mother Blind Al and his best friend Weasel. The ongoing series gained cult popularity for its unorthodox main character, and its balance of angst and pop culture slapstick and the character became less of a villain, though the element of his moral ambiguity remained. The writer Joe Kelly noted, With Deadpool, we could do anything we wanted, because everybody just expected the book to be cancelled every five seconds, so nobody was paying attention and we could get away with it. Reportedly Kelly introduced the fourth wall-breaking gimmick. The series was taken over by Christopher Priest who noted that he found Kelly's issues to be complex and a little hostile to new readers like me, and that by issue 37, he realized that 
it was okay to make Deadpool look stupid. Kelly may have introduced Deadpool to breaking the fourth wall, but Priest could be credited for establishing it as an essential part of the character's personality and worldview. Priest left the series after only one year at issue 5. 2000s For a time, writers who followed generally ignored the fourth wall entirely, until Gail Simone took over with issue 5. Her version is remembered for the frequent use of the little yellow boxes. Deadpool lasted until issue 9, at which point it was relaunched as a new title, with a similar character called Agent X in 2002. This occurred during a line-wide revamp of X-Men-related comics, with Cable becoming Soldier X, and X-Force becoming X-Statics. Simone notes that, when I took the Deadpool job, the revamp hadn't been planned, so it was a complete surprise. Thankfully, we heard about it in time to make adjustments to the early scripts. It appeared that Deadpool was killed in an explosion fighting the supervillain Black Swan. Deadpool's manager, Sandy Brandenburg later founded Agency X with a mysterious man called Alex Hayden, who took the name dubbed Agent X. Deadpool later returned to the series. Simone left the title after seven issues due to creative differences with the series editor, but then returned to conclude with issues 13-15. Deadpool's next starring appearance came in 2004 with the launch of Cable and Deadpool written by Fabian Nitzietza, where Deadpool became partnered with his former enemy, Cable, teaming up in various adventures. This title was cancelled with issue 0 and replaced by a new Cable series in March 2008. Deadpool then appeared briefly in The Wolverine, Origins titled by writer Daniel Way before Way, and Paco Medina launched another Deadpool title in September 2008. Medina was the main series artist, with Carlo Barberi filling in on the first issue after the Secret Invasion tie-in. A new Deadpool ongoing series written by Daniel Way with artist Paco Medina began as a Secret Invasion tie-in. In the first arc, the character is seen working with Nick Fury to steal data on how to kill the Skrull Queen Varank. Norman Osborn steals the information that Deadpool had stolen from the Skrulls, and subsequent stories deal with the fallout from that. Writer Daniel Way explained, the first thing Osborn does to try and take care of the situation is to bring in a hired gun to take Deadpool down, which would be Tiger Shark. That would be the standard thing to do, but of course everything about Deadpool is non-standard. So it goes completely awry and Norman has to get more serious about things. The story also sees the return of Bob, agent of Hydra. I don't want the book to become Deadpool and friends so characters will drift in and out, but Bob was someone I definitely wanted to bring in. It just had to be at the perfect moment and when I was putting this storyline together that moment presented itself. This all led directly to a confrontation with a new Thunderbolts in Magnum Opus, which crossed over between Deadpool Vol. 29 and Thunderbolts 3131. Thunderbolts writer Andy Diggle said, It's a natural progression for Deadpool to go after Norman, and for Norman to send his personal hit squad after Deadpool. In Deadpool 5, Deadpool decides to become a hero resulting in conflicts with proper heroes like Spider-Man and leading to a three-issue arc where he takes on Hitmonkey, a character who debuted in the same month in a digital, then print, one shot. Another ongoing Deadpool series, Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth launched in July 2009, written by Victor Gishler, with art by Bong Dezo. In it Deadpool teams with Headbill, from Marvel Zombies 3 and 4. A special anniversary issue titled Deadpool 00 was released in October 2009. It features stories written by several authors, with the main feature written by the original Deadpool series writer Joe Kelly and drawn by Deadpool's creator Rob Liefeld. A third Deadpool ongoing series, Deadpool Team Up, launched in November 2009, written by Fred Van Lenter, with art by Dolly Portalagic. This series features Deadpool teaming up with different heroes from the Marvel Universe in each issue, such as Hercules. Deadpool also joined the cast of the new Uncanny X-Force team. 2010s Another Deadpool series, titled Deadpool Core also by Gishler, was released in April 2010. Besides Deadpool himself, this series featured alternate versions of Deadpool, including Lady Deadpool, Headpool, and two new characters, Kidpool, a child, and Dogpool, a dog. The series lasted 12 issues. Marvel also published Deadpool titles through the Marvel Knights and Maxim Prince, 
Deadpool, Wade Wilson's War, by Dwayne Swazinski and Jason Pearson, and Deadpool Max by David Lapham and Kyle Baker. Deadpool is written by Daniel Way and drawn by Ail Garza. In the story arc, Dead, Wade is cured of his healing ability and becomes mortal. As a side effect, he also has his old, unscarred face once again. Although he spent the majority of the story arc looking forward to dying, he suppresses his desires in order to protect his friend and sidekick Hydra Bob. After he lost his healing factor, Wilson claimed he felt more alive than ever. However, after a harsh beating from Intelligence Seer, Wade realized that he had let his ability to heal compensate for skill so he decided to ask for help from Taskmaster in training. Taskmaster asked Wilson to help him steal PIM particles from SHILD. But actually, he allowed Black Box to study Wade in order to prepare his vengeance against Wilson. Even letting him know Deadpool lost his healing factor. Wade managed to defeat Black Box, Black Tom, and Black Swan, but in the process, his face was burned and disfigured again. Former FBI agent Allison Kemp wanted to get revenge on Deadpool, because of his involvement in an accident which left her in a wheelchair, and she called other enemies of Deadpool such as T-Ray and Slayback, and trained them to kill Deadpool. Deadpool infiltrated their base and managed to get T-Ray and Slayback killed when Kemp was about to kill herself in an explosion which would kill Wade in the process, he convinced her not to attack him. In that moment, he was surprised by the returned evil Deadpool, who informed Wade that the serum they took was not permanent, reasons why Wade's face didn't heal, or a finger he lost grew back, so Wade would return after evil Deadpool shot him. Daniel Way's Deadpool series concluded with issue 63, as part of Marvel's Marvel Now. Initiative a new Deadpool ongoing series was launched, written by Brian Posehn and Jerry Duggan and illustrated by Tony Moore. He is also a member of the Thunderbolts. In the 27th issue of his new series, as part of All New Marvel Now, Deadpool was married for the third time. Initially a secret, his bride was revealed in the webcomic Deadpool, the gauntlet to be Sheikla, Queen of the Undead. Deadpool also discovers that he is a daughter by the name of Eleanor from a former flame of Deadpool named Carmelita. During the events of Original Sin, it was revealed that Deadpool was tricked into killing his parents by a scientist known as Butler. However Deadpool does not know about it. Much later, he clashed with Carnage, believing the universe was telling to defeat him. After several fights and getting torn to pieces, Deadpool bonds with the Mercury team's four symbiotes Phage, Riot, Lasher, and Agony, playing mind games. Deadpool tricked Shriek by using his shape-shifting abilities to make her disorient and having her flee. After the symbiotic Deadpool and Carnage fought again, Deadpool captures Shriek and forces her to impersonate himself, making it trick Carnage into almost killing her in the process. Feeling broken after a mental breakdown, Carnage allowed himself to be arrested, and was placed in an unlocked cell. While sitting in the cell until he was his own self, Carnage swore vengeance on Deadpool. Deadpool, after defeating Carnage, gives the Mercury team symbiotes to Lasher to deliver to them to the government. During the Axis storyline, Deadpool appears as a member of Magneto's unnamed supervillain group during the fight against Red Skull's Red Onslaught form. The group of villains becomes inverted to heroes, after a spell cast by Scarlet Witch and Doctor Doom. This group was later named the Astonishing Avengers. This Deadpool, referred to as Zenpool, was pivotal in turning Apocalypse to fighting the inverted Avengers. Deadpool's death occurs in Deadpool 50, involving story ideas that co-writers Jerry Duggan and Brian Posehn have had in mind since the beginning of the Now series. Issue 50 was technically Issue 5 but was so named as it was the cumulative 250th issue of the character's solo series. Deadpool faces off in a final showdown with Ultimatum, and Flag Smasher, killing all of them, and gives up the Deadpool identity, wishing to have a better life. He, along with his family and friends, are all killed when the Earth collides with an alternate universe as Earth. Deadpool laments that the Secret Wars should have stayed an Avengers event, but then dies at peace, content that everybody else is dying with him. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?